So to keep below 1.5 degrees with a likely chance is very, very, very small remaining carbon budget. So if you use the IPCC's uh, cumulative emission budget that they published in their synthesis report, we have about 400 billion tonnes of CO2 to emit to go over 1.5 degrees, and that's starting in 2011. And the current emission rates that budget will go by about 2020. If you start at the current emission levels and take it down to zero in a straight line, then the budget will be gone around about 2025, 2030. And if you go, if you want to emit for longer, then you'll have to use large amounts of negative emissions. And of course, there's lots of uh, uncertainties and questions about the feasibility of large-scale negative emissions. So, given the emission reductions required, the scale of negative emissions and in progress based on the INDCs that have already been submitted, I think 1.5 is essentially gone. So, it's sort of negative emissions if you use bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, you've got two key issues to it. You've got one on the bioenergy side and one on the CCS side. So if you look at the CCS side, we're much further behind in terms of progress of where we thought we would be 10 years ago. So CCS is a technology we're having lots of problems both on the technical aspects but also on the political aspect to encourage more research, development, innovation and, and so on. So CCS is coming along much slower than we thought. And there's also issues about storage, the feasibility of storage at that scale, public acceptability of storage and so on, so the whole range of questions. And then on the bioenergy side, there's lots of questions of whether you can uh, have bioenergy at that scale. There's a whole range of water constraints, a whole range of land constraints, fertiliser constraints, and we may not even be able to use bioenergy at that scale. So bioenergy has questions, CCS has questions, and when you combine them, you're amplifying the, the challenges and the feasibility of the negative emissions.